All right, guys. So what I'm going to introduce is white bass fishing that covers the entire water column. Okay, it covers the top, the middle, and the bottom. Okay, so if you guys see our videos, you guys know we're all about that top water. You know, when we're not fishing tournaments and we're just out having fun, I want to catch them on top. So that's what this lure is. Okay, this is the heading. We'll get to it in a little bit, but it's top water. I can throw it all day. Okay, but there are times when you know, say your relatives are coming to town and you want to have a big fish fry. You know, you, you're not always on to catch them on top water, depending on the day, of course. But some days, you, for every top water bite you'll get, you're probably gonna get ten bites on these other lures. The lures that kind of travel midway through the water, or the the lures that actually bounce right off the bottom. So that's where these other these other ones come in. We have two lipless crankbaits. We have a cast master, which is designed for the bottom or casting really far out. And when you want to just go cheap, you got like 50 family members coming over and you ain't got $500 to go and buy tackle. You know, that's where these little crappy jigs come in. They have their place. They work very well. And like I said, they're cheap, you know. This lure, it's like six bucks. This lure by itself, uh, probably a quarter. You know, so you can lose a couple of these, not gonna hurt the bank, but these other ones, eh, maybe not. So, once again, like I said, these lures cover the entire water column. Some of them are designed to cast really, really close to you, some of them will go really far, some of them are only gonna be on top, and then you'll get a top water bite, which is really exciting. So, the excitement factor is really high. Um, some of these other ones, like especially this one, the red eye shad, it is it can catch fish when they're not hungry. So that's another cool thing about it. Uh, and I think that's what really separates the A's from the B's when it comes to the fishermen. So listen to that. We'll give you that tip at the end as to why it works. And uh, hope that helps you guys out. So, uh... If you guys don't know what we are, uh, this is Out of Work Outdoors. This is Connery. Um, we've got a lot of questions. Uh, people asking us about, you know, how come I can't find this lure? How come I can't find that lure? What is that lure? Where can I get it? Is it available at my local tackle shop? Things like that. So, uh, and all that pertaining to white bass stripers. But today is going to be strictly just white bass, okay? Uh, this is some stuff that is tried and true, newbie lowers, what I like to call them. And uh, there's a lot of downfalls of these, but at the same time, there's a lot of good things about them. Because one, they work. Two, they're cheap. And three, they're really easy to find. Really easy to find because I bought them at Walmart. Okay, So go through the Walmart aisle, you're going to find them. So there shouldn't be any problems finding these lowers. So if you know our channel... If you go way back, I mean way back, this guy right here, this guy right here, did like, I would probably say 90% uh, of the damage, you know? All right. This one you can find everywhere. The, the Hidden Zara Spook is the medium size, but this one is actually the, uh, this is the Zara Puppy. We did a review on it, and it's awesome. It's a really small lure. It's a top water lure, and that's what we do. We love top water, especially for a white bass. Anytime from uh, late June all the way to like November, top water is where it's at. Uh, if there's only one way I had to pick, this is going to be the one. And uh, in terms of gear, okay, we're going to keep that real simple too. Uh, eight pound uh, mono, uh, big game trialing or something like that. Take your pick, six dollars for maybe three hundred yards, and a spinning rod, maybe seven foot, seven and a half foot, depending on how far you want to throw this guy, and take your pick on the reel. It doesn't really matter because light bass is light bass. Uh, make it fun, keep it fun, keep it cheap, and that's what that's how we started basically. Okay, and uh, fish rocky areas, fish kind of windy, windy sandy areas. Uh, typically, top one is great. Now. On to the next one. Uh, this is the Strike King Red Eye Shad. This is the quarter ounce model. 
and this is the gold chrome sexy okay um this one has upgraded hooks on it because i was actually fishing for bass in the bass tournament but typically the hooks that come with it they're pretty good already for white bass and it's okay you can lose a couple it's not going to matter very much but the reason why i have this one on here this is my dad's favorite word all he does is he throws it out there and he just slowly winds it back <laughs> and it's got a little rattle in it okay you can hear that and it just works okay so that's my dad's favorite lore every time we go fishing with him he's always like did you just bring my favorite lore <laughs> and that's the one right there so um it, I don't know, it just works magic. It's a really good one. It's a, it's a quarter round striking red eye shad. Like I said, it's the uh, it's the gold one. It's a gold chrome with a yellow chartreuse line painted right through the side of it. So that's a real good one. But this one's gonna run you a little bit more. You know, these other this other the Zara Spook is uh, Zara Puppy is uh, probably four bucks. I think from what my memory judges, this is more pushing six bucks. Now, if you think that's too expensive, you got you covered. This is a Cotton Cordell Spot. It's basically a lipless or super spot. It is a uh, lipless crankbait. Once again, these are sinking. They're not floating like the first one. And it's cheap. It works. It comes with really, you know, decent hooks. They're not great, but for white bass, it's going to be fine. Throwing it on all of them are going to be on six or eight pound, okay? And uh, that's a proven, that's a proven lure. You know, we use it all the time. Uh, it works great. Once again, throw it out, slowly wind it back. Uh, once in a while, you can kill it, or you can do this like stop and go retrieve. Just keep the rod tip up high. Like do two cranks, stop it for a second. Two cranks, stop it for a second. That's all you gotta do. Kills it every time. Um, it's, a, it's a lipless crankbait. And then once in a while, once in a while, um, you'll see fish that are blitzing on top but these lures can't get to them because they're so far away so we're talking maybe 30 plus yards out you can't get to them problem solved right there okay the acme cast master we did review this one as well but this is going to be the three eighths three eighths or a half ounce eh, maybe even a quarter ounce uh depending on how picky the fish are that day but this is a good medium uh size one and it this is the one where you're basically going to cast really, really far. And you're going to reel it really, really fast. Because if you reel it slow, you're going to get it hung up on stuff if you're fishing less than, say, 10 feet of water. Okay. So this is the lure I go to when i got to make a real long cast or when nothing else is working. This one usually plays out. But typically, you know, you're pretty, you're reeling it pretty fast coming back. Uh, what it does is it gives, gives up like a real aggressive flash in the water and the fish is think it's a little minnow they come up and just get it so that one is pretty cool um and those are those are kind of on the expensive side of things okay i'll let you know it's a, it's this one's i think it's like eight bucks for that that cast master uh but you know we'll have all the links down below to order off of amazon if you guys prefer the amazon route but uh once again like i said all these are available through a walmart and you can't talk about white bass fishing without talking about crappy jigs, okay? Because a crappy jig, in my opinion, is probably the cheapest route you can go to catch white bass. But it takes a little bit more skill sometimes. Because sometimes you have to throw it out there and you have to jig it back. Especially when you run in the water, you have to know how to, uh, you know, how, you gotta know how to drift fish. Drift fishing is what I'm going to try to say. You gotta know how to drift with the current so you're not getting hung up all the time. But... The beauty about crappy jigs is you get an entire pack. This is 10 of them for three bucks. And then you just pair it up with a really, really good jig head. Uh, that's a, that's the jig head I like. Okay, so this is actually my first combo, color combo. And it works in uh, super clear water. And it works in murky water. And it works in real dirty water. So this is what I like. Uh, structure's body. I mean, this one's from Yum, but it doesn't have to be a Yum. Uh, you can get them like this or you get them pre-rigged. Uh, but I prefer it like this because if it's like this, then you can actually pick the jig head you want. And the jig head is going to be slightly better quality. So once again, I picked these up from Walmart. A uh, little tip on these is when, they go, when you go to the green body grubs, get the really, really clear, almost like jello looking chartreuse. Uh, for some reason, it tends to work a little bit better. And uh, jig heads, I really like the pink for some reason. And it just works. Now, 
some days they're on the grub, some days they're on the tubes. Okay, so once again the tubes. I like the red and the short, the red and the chartreuse ta tail. Um, these, if I had to pick a color, that's my favorite color right there. Uh, why? I have no idea. <laughs> I've been fishing it since I was like six years old. Uh, crappy love them also, so can't go wrong with that. Um, and then one thing is, I actually wanted to show you guys how to rig it. So, um, camera might have to come a little closer, but a lot of people will ask, How do you rig this? And, then, and to, to us, it's like we can do this in our sleep, but for some people, you know, first timers trying to go out there, you know, they have to, uh, they have to know how to do this because all these other ones are pretty much take it out of the package, tie it on to the nose, and fling it out there. You're ready to go, but with the jig, it's a little bit trickier. Let me get this bag open. Yeah, get a knife. A rad knife. I'm trying to cut myself. All right, so all right. Crappy jig. Crappy jig head. Oh, and I did buy the. Um, the pro model, which is a little bit better. It's got these cool looking uh, hooks on it. So these are the components you need. Kind of like that. All right. And uh, it's as simple as you go. You basically, okay, here's a tip for you guys. Okay, so the hook bends this way. The tail needs to bend the opposite way, okay? Because if you do it this way, they're both bending this way, it'll, this tail will get hung up on the hook like every time. So you want to go opposite direction. And what you want to do is kind of hold it in your hand like that. And uh, just take the hook. Start on the top in the middle. So you kind of want an idea of where it's going to come out. So usually it comes out about eh, a little bit a little bit past halfway. So this is the kind of essential skill you're going to have too for, uh, for later when you advance the mass world or something like that. But Basically you just want to thread it on. Try to stay in the middle. And the cool thing about this body is you, gotta, you can see your hook. So you know you're in the middle. And then you just basically thread it on, and push it on, and boom, there you go. Ah, there you go. Money. Okay? That's all you gotta do. That's money. Let me, let me do the other one. Um, for the, uh, like I said, this is the probably the cheapest route, and this is the route that I grew up with, this crappy juice. And... This is also another another one. I like this tube because it's a it's a it's a solid body tube. It's also an Arky solid body tube. Uh, a lot of these tubes are hollow. If it's hollow, then you have to get get like an actual. It's a it's a tube jig head. But if it's a solid body, then you can rig it just the same. Same principle, right through the middle. Just kind of right through the middle like this. And that's it. That's how it looks. You got two. There you go. Put it in my finger so you can see it. But see how see how they look. Why do I have a bobber on the table? That's a good question. And a lot of people actually uh they don't know why we have bobbers. So why why I like the bobber. When I was growing up uh, we were really, really poor. So to lose one of these that maybe only cost 10 cents at the time, it was very expensive. So you cannot risk getting this thing hung up, okay? So what you do is you fish with a bobber. Well, it's an oversized bobber, but you guys get the idea. Uh, bobber goes onto your main line. And then that day, basically, most of the time, I like, a, I like, I like the three-foot uh, section between this and this. All right, all you gotta do is just throw it out there and just reel it in. And I kid you not, some of these fish are so dumb that you're reeling it, and they just come up, they grab the lure, they go down, and then you're just reeling the bobber, and the bobber just goes down. And just keep reeling, and you're pretty much good. So, uh, that's a cool tip for not getting hung up. And on top of that, if you're fishing really shallow water, and you have to make a really, really long cast. Okay, so say they're... Say the white bass is in five feet of water, but they're like 20 yards out, 30 yards out. But you know that if you're really, really fast, they're not going to hit it. You got to really slow line it. Bro, 
foot and a half like that with a bobber and also the bobber helps you cast it a little farther so with the weight of the bobber and the lure you're actually going to throw it almost another 15 yards out so throw it out there just slowly wind it it stays above the rocks you catch all types of stuff it's really really good and okay that's 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 for noobs now once you get good a lot of people you'll see this a lot of the oklahoma dams especially all the monk people and uh i mean american people all the basically jig crappy jig fishermen out there you rig this in a double or a tandem setup where you have your line coming through it, it basically goes through the eye of this one and the tag end of that goes back out and hits that one we actually have a video on that so if you guys want to see how i rig that then uh we'll put the video somewhere on the screen you put a link on it so you can go and see it but most of the times you know I'm, i am only fishing one but i see a lot of people fishing two and that's cool because you, you don't know, you know, like, like, if you look at this color pattern, it's basically green and red. But some days I want a green, white, or all white, or a black. So, like I said, these are my favorite ones, and these are the ones I recommend for people going out first time or trying to just catch a bunch. But, uh, you know, once you get a little bit better, uh, switch it up. You know, change it, change the color, change the color of the jig head. Uh, primarily the grubs. Grubs come in all types of uh, colors. Uh, probably my second best color will probably just be something that's white. Or something white or clear with sparkles in it. It doesn't matter the sparkle color as long as it's got a dark sparkle. It's really good. All right. So uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's our little intro. Uh, we'll have all the links to everything in the bottom of the, the description. You can click and go buy it or just head out to Walmart. I think I paid uh, 20 bucks. No, I paid, yeah, 20 bucks. I paid 20 bucks for all this gear. But it doesn't take a lot of money to get started. If you just pick up this, this is probably what I would recommend if your ass is broke, like I was when I was growing up. That's about five dollars worth right there. Five dollars worth. And if you're not losing these jigs, this is good for about four or five trips. So that could equal, I don't know, a hundred, two hundred white bass. And it's not impossible. I've actually done it before. So that's cool. Uh, but if you find that, you know. A lot of people are throwing this and the fish is kind of shut off and you need, but you're pretty sure they're still there. That's when you start throwing stuff like this, you know, this is a, this is something that these lipless traps, this is something that, uh, I don't know what it is, but people get really conditioned into throwing jigs a lot because they're real cheap. And then a lot of times, uh, it though, the jig is really good during prime time hours, meaning for us, it's like, a, uh, an hour before and after the sunrise. Okay, so the jig's really good. But once the sun comes up, the fish can, uh, I think they're, they, they get kind of shut off. So you kind of get, you have to get them to react to stuff now. Where they're not, they've, they've gone beyond their feeding period. So you got to get them to react. This is a really good reaction lure. Um, the lipless stuff, especially the red eye. I think that's why my dad loves it so much. Because he doesn't know what he's doing, but he's actually causing the fish to react. A lot of times when a fish comes and they'll swipe at this, not necessarily like, bite it but they just want to bump it you know if they bump it you're not going to get hooked up but if they bump this they're going in the bucket so that's why this one's so good that's why my dad likes it and a lot of times you're catching you know on face plate and things like that and uh just be just be aware of your state rules and regulations because sometimes in some places you have to hook them inside the mouth but with this a lot of times it's like on top of the head bottom of the mouth side plates tail that type of stuff so so that's that's a little spiel on how to catch them when they're not hungry but that's pretty much it guys uh, you know these are the easy to find lures that even if uh if i go out today uh without any of my gear and my friends invite me out and they say we're going white bass fishing i'm gonna go to walmart i'll pick this up and i'm good to go for that day so i hope that helps you guys out i mean it's a little you know a little bit i give you guys little gold nuggets here and there but uh but really, these are these laws of work. As you can see, not a lot of brand names here, and everything's fairly cheap. Uh, these are not our favorite laws, okay? But these are the laws that work, okay? We'll do another video, uh, 2017, like favorite laws or something like that. And those laws will be more of like you have to order them online, or you have to have a, a shop that specializes them, and they and they'll, that's the only way you can get them. But for this one, this is kind of like our. This stuff works anytime, all the time get it at walmart get it on amazon 
everybody carries you to someone. Something real exactly like this or very similar to this. All right, guys. Once again, it's uh, Connery, Out of Work Outdoors. Let me know in the comments if this is helping you out or not. Okay.